Hey guys, so today I'm going to share something kind of interesting with you. Uh, the greatest magic player ever. And when I mean greatest, I mean most kind, most considerate. So let me take you through a story and then I'll get to the laugh out loud hentai forever part, which is the guy's Reddit username. Uh, a person goes to New York Gen Con or New York uh, Comic Con, that was the one, and they have a magic booth and they lose a binder worth at least $60,000. There's a Beta Lotus, there's one of every Expedition. Uh, again, it's 60,000 binder. I think it's a liquid asset, especially given the list of cards that came out or the partial list. So he loses $60,000 of cards and a kid who turns out to be 17 picks up the binder, goes on Reddit, posts about, you know, I found this binder and he gets attacked. He immediately gets attacked by online trolls because that's what they do. They're extremely fast at like responding and stuff because they're always online and they don't really have anything else to do, I guess. So they attack him and say, hey, you stole the binder, blah, blah, blah. And at that point, he could have just deleted the post and said, nope, not gonna deal with it. And he made a, I'm gonna have like different, you know, posts and stuff here. I think that would have been uh, very bad because uh, someone, and they deleted the post obviously after, but he makes reference to it. And I saw the post and it was a very um, hateful post about, hey, you stole it from someone and yeah, but he didn't steal it. He found it on the ground. He, they returned it the Monday. So he posted on Reddit, Reddit, uh, the guy found out about Reddit from his friend because he himself didn't use it. And then he got his whole collection back. Now his username, well, out of all the greatest Magic players, um, what was his username? Laugh out loud, hentai forever was his username. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. That like one of the dude finds sixty thousand dollars of Magic cards, very liquid, beta lotuses, expeditions, whatever you want. It's a binder, one binder with sixty k in cards. He uh, finds it. He posts on Reddit, just like immediately when he gets back. Uh, he gets trolled on Reddit by uh, one person who says he stole it. Uh, he keeps at it. He keeps trying to find the owner. Uh, he finds the owner. The owner goes to him. And the owner has cash for him and says, hey, I, you know, again, it's 60K. Uh, so he gave a cash reward and the guy turned it down. And so the owner of the binder gave him a card, glorious, uh, some card. And I'll explain that card later in a... Wooded Foothills Expedition. Wooded Foothill Expedition, obviously at that time is about like a, let's say it's like a $150 card maybe. But the one card that he gives him, you wouldn't expect it to be that valuable. It just gives plus one, plus one to all creatures. But it turns out to be a judge card, which is eBaying buy it now for $1,000. So that was kind of nice as well. It is stories like this which really makes you think about, you, I mean, it, it's a whole scenario, right? Where a guy finds, a 17 year old finds a binder. The binder, uh, he, even if he doesn't know 60K, he sees a beta lotus, he sees, I mean, he sees one of every uh, expedition. There's no way he doesn't know that this binder is quite valuable. He goes on Reddit, he gets trolled by that one person. I don't know if he got trolled by other people. He gets trolled by one person extremely hard for stealing the binder. Uh, he keeps at it, he keeps trying to find the owner of it. Uh, he finds the owner, the owner goes to his home, picks up the binder, plays some magic with him, and slips him a $1,000 magic card that no one, I wouldn't, I didn't know that was a $1,000 magic card. It was like a judge, a very special judge promo um, card. And 17. That is incredible to me. That is absolutely, um, I've never owned sixty thousand dollars in magic cards, but I can only imagine what losing it would feel like. Where it's like, wow, it's um, a lot. That is <laughs> multiple cars if you want to buy like Hondas and Hyundai's, or it's a really nice um, Acura, like a really nice uh, MDX. So, and I'm sure those cards were all liquid and they could have all been moved. But the guy, even after being trolled keeps at it and I feel like that is a fascinating story and that's a story that I want to share with you guys about you know the community the community is there's bad parts about it but then there's also parts like 
laugh out loud hentai forever. I think he probably just chose that YouTube name so people would like people like me would talk about him in the video and it would sound ridiculous. But um, it's unbelievable. It's almost it's incredible this happened. Um, I. <laughs> And it's not the incredible that it happened, it's incredible the username is laugh out loud anti forever. And he turns out to be the bet like one of the in my opinion, uh, you can be a great magic player, you can play great magic, but this one goes down because it's something that you know, it's something that is when I look at it and I have read, you know, tons of stories I've been playing since uh, the very beginning of magic, I've never heard of something like this before. Um, I've always heard of binders being lost and binders being returned but not of this magnitude and not by someone who's 17 and definitely not by a user who has a name of laugh out loud hentai forever that sounds like it would probably be more on 4chan and reddit to be honest um <laughs> from giving my uh great uh 4chan experiences uh of being trolled myself <laughs> anyway uh, I, I love that story. I think it's incredible and good for him. Like, I think his name is Andrew. Really good job, Andrew. I definitely think, um, I mean, that is just something that you can write a college application on and I don't think any college would turn, I feel like I'd just be fascinating to read about if I was, and I have read college applications before uh, from admissions. It's just, Good job, Andrew. I, I really do feel like that when we have good stories like this, I should share them as well as maybe not so good stories. Bye, guys.